Indonesians really are warrior-oriented in, in the society and the culture. And uh, before the Europeans were coming, we were cutting each other's heads off. Football is a natural for Polynesians, at least I can say for Samoans, because we love contact sports. People are finally getting out to the islands, you know. <laughs> They're finally branching out a little further and seeing what, what they have out there. As the sport of football has evolved, its recruiting reach has lengthened dramatically, and more and more it stretches across the Pacific Ocean to Polynesia. The number of Pacific Islanders in college football is well into the hundreds, and with those rising numbers comes an increasing percentage that finds success in the NFL. But last December, a new milestone was reached when Navy's Ken Niumatalolo became the first Samoan head football coach in collegiate history and just the second Polynesian head coach in Division 1A. When I read the Washington Post, I couldn't believe it. So I immediately told my staff, get me the, the, the phone number of the Naval Academy, find out where he's at. So I finally tracked him down and to congratulate him and wish him well. It's a great chance to get out and show the world what, what people from Hawaii or Polynesian ancestry had for the world to see. As soon as I was named as head coach and it came out on AP Wire, I mean, I got tons of phone calls and emails and got a letter from the governor of Hawaii. It's pretty humbling. Humbling indeed, when you trace Niumatalolo's ancestry back to a tiny U.S. territory with only one zip code. Yet American Samoa continues to produce football players and has become to college football in the NFL what the Dominican Republic is to Major League Baseball. A lot of it's cultural pride. Always a sense that you're playing not just for yourself, but for the extended family, for your village, and for the people, you know, and, uh, and we're very proud of, of, of that. Niu Matalolo's career hit the national spotlight as a quarterback for Hawaii when he led the Warriors to their first ever bowl appearance in 1989. It was then on to coaching and eventually to Navy, where in a six-year stretch as the assistant head coach and offensive line coach, he helped produce record-setting offenses that launched the midshipmen back into the national spotlight. This is about a team that's going to set their destiny today. This won't get them, guys. Yeah. Now, Niu Matalolo is calling the shots, and from his players and coaches to his congressmen, everyone is behind him. He really cares about the players. He really loves the game. That's why he's coaching, yeah. He's proud of being a coach here at the Naval Academy. You can just tell it, it vibrates off of him. I couldn't think of a better person to, to be the first or, you know, to represent, you know, that culture. I've always looked at myself as a football coach that happens to be Samoan. I realize now as for minorities, and hopefully I can help other Polynesian coaches open a door for them. I'm just going to try to do the best job that I can and hopefully help others. <laughs>